Welcome! In this video, I'll propose a really crazy theory for how Jung San and maybe even Guinam could still be alive. It sounds impossible, I know, but I have evidence to back this theory up. First off, how could Jung San be alive? So, as we all know, the military bombed Hyosan High and Chung San grabs Guinam and fall down the shaft as they are engulfed in flames and presumed dead. But we've seen in earlier episode endings how Chung San had been supposedly hurt or even killed only to have been a fake out at the start of the next episode, like the time when it was Chung San's turn to use the host letter only to be pushed out of the window by the zombies. But then he actually grabbed the hose as a story in the next episode. Or when Gwinnem threw his knife at Chung San and it looked like he got stabbed in the back. But nope, he was only hit with the butt of the knife. The same thing could have happened here. It may look like they were burned to a crisp, but they might have actually didn't. Piece of evidence number two. As we've seen in the show, and from how I understand it, to become a Hanbi, you need to have no fear and a really hard result or determination, just like we see in this scene. Chung San says he doesn't fear anything and has a determination to save his friends at all costs. One final but very important detail in the ending scene where Namra says that they are more like her and she then says they are here keep this in mind for later then she jumps off the building and we get a final scene of the group in which we see some of them like Suhyuk with a relieved expression which might mean that they are seeing Cheong San so could Chung San have become a Hanbi and survived? He just might have, according to my theory. Now, onto why I say that Gwinam is also still alive. Well, this is for two reasons. Number one, if my theory of Chung San being alive is correct, then why would Gwinam wouldn't? They both would be Hanbis. And Chung San grabbed Winam and fell down the shaft of the building, maybe shielding both of them from the explosion. Number two, remember when I said to keep in mind what Namra said? She says, smiling, they are here. So why would Namra say they if the group were only looking at Chung San? That is, because what if by they she's referring to Chung San? and Queen Am. And that's why we see some really shocked and also frightened faces while others are relieved. Now, why would Queen Am stay with Namra and Chen San if he wanted to kill them, you ask? Well, my only explanation is that when Cheung San grabbed and jumped off with Queen Am, either intentionally or unintentionally saved Guinam's life. So now, Guinam being painful, quote unquote, he stayed with them and joined the group. Now, I know this doesn't really make a lot of sense for the personality of his character, but in my opinion, I don't really see any other possible explanation. Now, to finish this video off, I just want to say that if you agree with my theory, or if you have theories of your own, or any counter argument that you might want to give me, then you can leave all of that in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read and answer all of them. Thanks everyone, signing off.